everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and since it was spring, I'm doing a little spring cleaning and rearranging my dolls. I'm putting some into storage and switching them out so I can enjoy all of them and see all of them. And since I was doing that, I decided it would be a great time to do a doll collection where you can see all my dolls. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And here is my Elsa, Anna, and Maleficent Disney Store Limited Edition dolls. And I think my favorite of these three is my Maleficent, since she is my favorite villain. And here are my three Disney Fairies Limited Edition and dolls. Tinkerbell. Zarina. Who is my favorite out of the three. And the newest one, Fawn. With her little bunny. Here is my Disney Limited Edition Villains um, Designer Edition Collection uh, dolls. We have... Queen of Hearts, the Evil Queen, Mother Gothel, Cruella de Vil, Ursula, and finally the designer collection Maleficent. I think out of this collection, Cruella de Vil looks very cool and she might be my favorite her long fur coat with the red silk and the black dress is so awesome Next up are some of my San Diego Comic-Con exclusive dolls first I have Ever After High Cerise uh, Wolf here is Monster High's uh, Manny and Iris two set from San Diego Comic-Con Finally, Maniac Mayhem from Equestria Girls. And here's Wydona Spider as Webarella. And she is also a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And she was a part of the Power Ghouls series. Here's the rest of my Monster High Power, Girl, Power Ghouls that were Target exclusives Claudine Wolf as Wonder Wolf, Spectra as Polter Ghoul as Voltageous, and finally Torlai at as Catastrophe. My favorite San Diego Comic-Con exclusive is Webarella, and she is also my favorite of the Power Goals. I have the Monster High Story Once Upon a Time line with Draculaur as Snow Bite, Little Dead Riding Wolf, and finally Threaderella, which is Frankie Stein. And these were also Target exclusives. My favorite out of these three is definitely Snowbite. And here is my small AI doll collection. This is Aster. Here's English Ivy. I do tend to keep them in the box for right now until I get a cool playset to place here's them in. Coreopsis. Here's Bee Bomb. And finally, here's Noreen. I think my favorite might be Aster because she has that beautiful red hair, but they are all so cute and precious to me. Here are my three large Disney Store animator dolls. We have Elsa and Kristoff and finally Anna down on the end. Next is my mini animators collection and here's Ariel. Here's Anna and she's sideways. Um, I had to pack her that way, so that's how she is packed in the box. Here's Cinderella. Jasmine, who is one of my favorites. And finally, we have the Elsa set. And here are some of my other Disney Store dolls. I have Elsa and Ariel, and they're both out of the package. And then we have Hans from Frozen. And Kristoff. And Anna. Next up in the Disney Store dolls is Rapunzel. Next is classic animated movie Cinderella. Not the newer one. Then we have Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Here's Snow White. And finally, here is Belle in her gold dress. And here is my Equestria Girls doll collection.
this Trixie right here is one of my favorites out of the collection. As well as this uh, rarity here. I love her outfit and her hair is so pretty. I have DJ Pawn in her convertible and I have Zakura in there as well. And these two are definitely some of my favorites in the Equestria Girl collection because they look so cool, especially Zakura there. And here's my complete Novi Star collection. These are the ones that I have unboxed. But I have the complete collection. I'll show you all the boxed ones. And I do have the pets, but um, for this collection, it's just going to be dolls. And I love each and every one of them. But some of my favorites are Frostina Sprinkles. As well as Doe A Deer, because I love her purple hair and the antlers. And then one of my favorites from the basic ones is Ally Electric over here. She's so cute. And here's Nita Light. She comes with the awesome energy pod. I still have it boxed. I want to unpack it really soon though. And here is my Orbit's Beach collection. I have Airy Roma, Orbit's Beach. Orbit's Beach Alley Electric. Italic. Finally, Universe Orbit's Beach. And then I also have the fashion packs. There's Space Dreamer and Winter Gear. And then finally, Galactic Gown. And I also have some of the Novi Star basics that um, I've had for a while, but I haven't been able to open up yet. I have Sila Clops, the basic Airy Roma, as well as May Talak. And then I have these two packs of Stellar Skins. They're pretty, pretty cool. This one comes with the zombie skin and the rock star skin. And this Novi Star's name is CC Through. Then the other Stellar Skins pack with Gail Lexi. And she has the zombie skin and the skeleton skin. And these two are pretty awesome. Um, yeah, like I said, I've had these packs for quite a while. Uh, they kind of get lost in the shuffle a little bit, but I'm hoping to open them for you guys really and soon. My final Novi Star doll is Robotic with the curl and coil hair. I have um, the other one as well that has the pink hair. Here is some of my boxed Bradzillas collection. There's Cloetta Spelletta. Here is Megana Broomsticks, which I love her red hair. Here is Sasha Bell Paws. Here is Jade Jador, which I really love uh, the way she and looks. And finally, here's Yasmina Clairvoya. And then here's some more of the Bradzilla dolls. Here's Cloetta, Cloetta Spelletta, Magic Night Out. And also Yasmina Clairvoya Magic Night Out dolls. And here are my loose Bratzilla girls. They're all very, very gorgeous to me. My favorite might have to be her, though, because she does remind me of a mix of Cleo and Gigi from Monster High. And I think her face is just beautiful. Here is my Ever After collection, which contains 38 dolls. 36 are out of their packages, and then I have two still in package. But these are all my loose Ever After High dolls. Um, so you guys can see them all together. I had to make some stit and some stand so they could fit on the desk. Because there are a lot of them. And then there's um, Original Cedar kind of hiding behind Holly there. And some of my favorites include the Spring Unsprung Briar and Kitty. And also Signature CA Cupid. As well as Legacy Day Maddie. 
and then gingerbread house those are just some of my favorites but I really do like them all the two that I still have in box is throne coming Raven Queen as well as throne coming Apple White and here are my unboxed Monster High dolls there's 49 in total here Let me show you all of them some of them are sitting down some of them um, are standing up some of my favorites include Nathan Rott and Rochelle and Garrett as well as this Widona spider and the Cleo next to her and a Via Trotter and the Sweet Screams Gulia is another one of my ultimate favorites. And here are some Monster High uh, dolls that I got on sale in like the past year or two and Never really got around to opening. I did open the Ghoul Spirit Venus, but then I put her back in the box for storage. And then we got all these other ones, some older Ghoulias, and Ghoulia is one of my favorite characters. And I also did open the Abbey Bombable um, Roller Roller um, Roller Derby one. And she's also back in the box. Here are some more of my still in box Monster High. I had 22 still in box Monster High uh, dolls. And this Skeleta and Gina are from my good friend Clay by Shay. So, um, they're special to me, so I might open them, but I kind of feel like keeping them in box. And then I have Scarce Rochelle, Coffee Bean Rebecca, and Ghouls Alive Frankenstein, which I love to press her button. And Fright's Camera Action Operetta. And here are some miscellaneous dolls that I have. I have a La Dee Da doll, and she's the Snow Queen, as well as this Winx doll, um, Stella Harmonix series. I got her because she was only $1.56 at Target, so that was like too good a deal to pass up. And then, of course, I have um, this little doll, Moxie, with the Poopsie Pet and the Unicorn. I love her red hair. And then going into my the Maleficent movie, I have Aurora from the Maleficent movie. And then I have three different Maleficents. Um, this is the Angelina Jolie version of Maleficent from the Maleficent movie. I have um, both the Coronation and the Wingless Maleficent. And then also the Battle Maleficent, which... Um, was in fact a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I forgot about it, so I ended up putting it in this part. It's called Winged Fairy Maleficent, but it's like her battle outfit. So those are kind of all my little miscellaneous dolls that I only have one or a couple of. So thank you guys so much for watching this doll collection video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my different dolls. I know there's a lot, so um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also if you hear, if you see that red subscribe button, make sure to hit it to stay up to date on all my collection and toy videos. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, rearranging and organizing all my dolls really made me want to do more photography with them so make sure to go check out instagram to see new photos and you can also check me out on facebook and twitter and i'll see you guys later bye